You hear that? That's the awkward silence of a family dinner after you just got caught vaping. Most vapes contain high levels of nicotine and disappointment. <sighs> Brought to you by The Real Cost and the FDA. All right, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the T-Moss Buzz Show. And in today's episode, so I wanted to talk on GameStops real quick. GameStops, I felt like uh, out of all businesses that I paid attention to, GameStops was the one business that got hit hard. Like, all right, so the GameStops that I go to, and maybe that's the problem, I just go to that GameStops. I don't go to any other uh, GameStop stores. Because there actually, there there is two in the location that I live at, so, or in the, like, city that I live in that, like, I, I go to them areas frequently, so... But anyways, now there's the one inside the mall where there's literally no games, bruh. No games. I'm telling you, the majority, the majority of the games, like if it's a brand new game, it probably, yeah, they get them shipped out and all that stuff. But other than that, bro, there is like, there's nothing in there. And it's, bro, I'm telling you, like, prior before, bro, I remember they had so many different games. Like, they had a crap ton of Xbox 360 games. They had a crap ton of PlayStation. Bro, they had them all. They had all the games, bro. So that's why it just, it confuses me, and it trips me out on how, like, low the stock is. Like, I go in there, right? I go in there, it was crazy because there was one time I asked them. I asked them for like a few different video games. And then it was the other time prior before that. No, actually, there's like three different GameStop stores that I go to. Because there's there's two. With, sorry, so there's one inside this mall that's closer to my house. There's one like in the next city, um, like outside of my city and stuff. And then there's uh the one that's in the same city, but it's by like this like Walmart store. So... I haven't been to that one near the Walmart store. I've been to the one in the, uh, all right. So for anybody that lives in the Washington, uh, state area, the South Center Mall, then there's the one in the Commons Mall. I've been to both of those GameStop stores. They ain't got nothing in there, bruh. Nothing. And I'd like, bro, like at this time, I, I, I really should have just went ahead and got the Xbox Series S. Cause I'm saying like, there's there's no games to like purchase on disc like i'm saying like there's a lot well that's the thing though sorry so with the xbox series x they do have like quite a few games but them games ain't fun bro that's why i'm like i kind of wish i would have bought a playstation 5 or just you know stuck with my playstation 4 because they don't got no good games bro like i be trying to you know get into those games and none of them are good like they're coming out with like these games my thing is is this if you're gonna come out with an indie game like at least have it being an indie game that people are playing you got these games they ain't nobody heard of and expect people to sit down and play it like oh this game hitting bruh like i'd rather play like one of the mainstream like games like warzone or freaking fortnite because they got games up on there i'm like hey yo these games don't look fun at all like they look like kid games if we're gonna truthfully be honest i feel like those games are only there to really like build up your uh gamer score but them games ain't there to be like they ain't meant to play them for a long period of time so that's why i'm like it ain't even worth it going on xbox like the the xbox game pass thing and seeing what games they got you know then the games with gold like them games is just as worse so it's it, it ain't even like fun at times i'm like man here it is uh playstation they'll be coming out with some like hits for free bruh I'm saying, like, if uh, PlayStation had, like, a Game Pass thing, I'm telling you, it probably would have been... Well, they might, I don't know. But I feel like they would probably be so much better. Like, they got games that's actually worth playing and stuff. Rather than Xbox, I'm like, it ain't even worth it. So, but no, back on GameStop. So, I recently just looked up, because I want to buy this game uh, called Jump Force. I remember having that game prior before. But when I had it on my Xbox One... Um, it wasn't, cause I had like the OG Xbox One, so 
the frames um per second like it wasn't really all that good like when you try to like play a game like that stuff would be laggy bruh straight lag like you ain't playing that game and thinking you gonna have fun like nah it was just pure lag i think i still got my videos up from when i played that game so yeah you'll definitely see um some videos of me playing that game and it was like the lag was just crazy but uh anyways but no i wanted to all over i wanted to see okay like you know let me go and check and see uh if game stops has it they don't even have that game like i looked they don't have that game new or pre-owned in any game stops near me near me bro like i check i check for 15 miles i check for 20 miles i check for 100 miles they did not have that game nowhere in the area where i live at so imagine my thing is let me turn down my fan real quick but i bro there's been times where i've like i've tried to you know look games up why is this thing i went okay there we go all right so but anyways that ain't even the only time when i had looked the game up and wanted to uh play it no there's another there so there's this um old xbox 360 game called fuel now that's the one game that i've been wanting to play like the for the longest like i've been wanting to play that game for like maybe a a year couple of years now and rather than all the other games like it don't really mean anything to me but like fuel bro i remember when that game when i very first played it like if you guys don't know what that game is about go watch these youtubers um achievement hunter and watch when they played that game they made that game like history bruh like that's i think that's the main reason why that game was hitting at one point in time because of those guys but anyways been trying to look for those games and you can't even find like no xbox 360 games available on uh um at game stops i don't even think they even have any xbox they have like some xbox 360 games that's there and they i i'm like bro they, it ain't even like it ain't even worth it even looking at it and stuff so and then like amazon they trying to like charge people out there charging uh 40 50 dollars for a game and i'm like bro first off this game is old second most likely ain't a brand new copy third this game uh what other things can i say about it because i was i was like i was saying some stuff but it's old and i'm pretty sure it ain't um new it's probably all scratched up out the package and all of that stuff oh and it's second or third it ain't no 30 or it ain't no 40 50 dollar game i'm like bro that game like i said it's old that game came out in like 2009 or something like that it's an old game bro so that's why I'm like, I'm not hearing it that that game is worth that much. I'm like, people, that's the one thing I know people are going to try to hit me with the, oh, supply and demand. I'm like, look, you might be supplying the game, but you ain't demanding $40, $50. I give you $10 for that game. Take it or leave it. So I'm like, that game, it ain't even worth $10. But I'm like, if I'm going to give you profit off of a game, because my thing is this, that game ain't like it's a big game. All right. So that's one. Two uh the game if we gonna look back on a lot of those xbox 360 games especially in like not the so like big ones that game is probably worth like 99 cents to five dollars all right so at the end of the day i'm giving you a little bit more, somewhat of a profit okay but i ain't gonna give you 40 50 dollar profit and it's like bruh that ain't worth it it ain't worth it at all so i'm like no you that game is old that game came out that many years ago that game does not need to be no like because no like hold on for a second let me look that game up fuel xbox 360 i wish they would just remaster the game i'm like just eliminate all of that and just remaster it somebody walmart yeah walmart talk oh it's refurbished for 21 dollars. walmart crazy somebody on ebay is selling the game for a uh, case and manual only no disc what what bruh somebody is really selling the case of this game the case in the manual with no disc what is the point of buying it and they charge in 390 bro you might as well give that mess away for free oh wait a minute somebody is actually on the <laughs> well here's the game somebody is on this website called mercari i think and they selling it for 14 dollars, and it looks like it's just the disc but yeah i'm like i'm not spending no 32 dollars or any other amounts of money for this game i'm like look if that game that game ain't uh like a few dollars i'm like i ain't i um, paying for it but yeah these people are crazy think i'm gonna spend that much on the game and it ain't even worth playing i'm like nah but yeah i'm like that's that's crazy
That is crazy. People would be out here charging any old amounts of money for stuff, and it ain't even worth it. Like, that's what I've always said about, like, Jordans and stuff. I'm like, bro, it ain't even worth it. My fan turn off? Hold on for a second. Maybe I turned my fan off. I don't know. But anyways, um, yeah, it ain't even worth it. I, that's weird. But anyways, um, yeah, I was like, I could have sworn I had that fan on, but... Um, or no, actually, no, I think I turned it off. I turned it off. Never mind, because I was getting ready to go downstairs and do something, but I had turned my fan off, and then I came back in my... So, okay, now I remember now. I remember now, but... Yeah, I'm like, Game Stops. And that's one thing that I heard, and I'm like, bro, that would be just so upsetting if they did do that. But they be throwing away games. And I'm like, look, Game Stops, do you guys not understand at any given moment in time, okay? At any given moment in time, people will come through the store, all right? They will come through the store, and they will want to buy a video game. Guess what? You threw away that game. So y'all just lost out on some money. And I remember I seen a video where they did do some stuff like that, and I'm like, bro, that's just, that's crazy to me. I'm like, honestly, I'm like, if that was ever a case, I'm like, look, let, let me know. I will go out there, okay, and get those games. I'm like, look... Because I'm, I'm positive that them games is like, they're not scratched up, broken, unplayable. If that's the case, I'm like, oh, okay, well then, there you go. Then you can't play it no more. It's done and over with. But still, I'm like, I just don't think that's a smart idea to be out there selling a the game. And it's like, for what? Like, why? And I don't even know. That don't even make any sense to me. So, anyways, um, but yeah, I'm like, man, they need to, they really need to, like, work on, you know, what they got going on, because it, to me, it just doesn't even make any sense, I'm like, how are you guys this down bad on video games, like, if that's, I'm telling you, if GameStop goes out of business, right, if they go out of business, and we look up one day, and all of them GameStop stores are all gone, okay? Because I think, honestly, what I think at the end of the day, the only thing that's keeping these games alive is when the new games come out, all right? But let's say it gets to a point in time where people, it's like, you know, they're like, oh, okay, these new games is not good anymore, so we just gonna start getting these indie games and these arcade games that's like $15, $20 on the stores, on the Xbox stores, and these games, you know, they ain't gonna be making a whole lot of money, they ain't gonna be making a whole lot of profit and stuff, because it's honestly, I it's the yearly games that keeps GameStops in business, like Call of Duty, 2K, um, Madden, FIFA, all those games, those are the only games that keep these companies um in business but other than that like what how else would these games survive like and my and the funny thing about it let's say if they decided that they were going to start making these games free right they started they're going to start making uh like call of duty free 2k madden fifa they start making these games free right so then what's gamestop's gonna do I feel like at that point, if games, if comp if the companies had did that, GameStops would be out of business, 100%. GameStops would be out of business, and we just gonna, like I said, we gonna look up one day, GameStops is gonna be gone. I'm saying, like, you guys are like, you guys ain't even got no games now. I looked on the website, fam, and then it was funny, I can't remember the games I went into GameStops to go get, and they was like, oh, we don't have them, and I'm like... Bruh, the fact, the fact that Best Buy, bruh, Best Buy, Target, okay, Walmart, they got more games than GameStops. Like, I'm saying, GameStops, you gotta start, I, I don't know, you gotta negotiate a deal, or, I don't know, do something, because I, I would just, I would really hate to look up one day, that's like one of the final few pieces of my childhood. I would really hate to look up one day, and then out of nowhere, GameStops is gone. Like, there is this one GameStop, but I think they switched that uh, location to the one that's like near the Walmart, but they switched that to GameStops, but there is one GameStops, I remember I used to go there all the time. I was going there ever since I was a kid, and now they switched it up with some other store, and I'm like, dang, man, that's messed up. That's really messed up. I was like, I loved going into that GameStop's fam. I'm telling you, I re I have memories of me being in that GameStop's. I went to that GameStop's to go get Destiny. I went to that GameStop's, what else? Because my friend had worked there. There was one time where it was raining so bad outside. I went in there as a safe um, as a safe haven, like safe house area. What other things did I do in that GameStop's? 
there is countless times I went in there to go and ask my parents to get me a game and stuff, and they had to come through and, uh, you know, show ID. What other things that I did? Uh, freaking, oh yeah, walking, looking back and forth through the Xbox 360 area. I'm telling you, I have memories, okay? Memories in that game stops. And the fact that that game stops is gone, I'm like, bro, that was like, that, that hit, that hit home for me. I'm like, dang. What am I like? You know, what am I supposed to do now? And so, yeah, I'm like that. Then the one in the mall, I was like, if they should have took out any Game Stops, it should have been that one in the mall. That's the one where I got bad memories inside of there. But I mean, hey, like you know, if the Game Stops, um, if they do go out of business, I'm saying, look, y'all ain't even got no games. I ain't went through there. I remember I tried to get a game. I tried to get, I think, yes, yeah, few games. Uh, I think it was a microphone. Or I ask, or actually, no, I think it was either that, it was a Wi Fi, bro. Well, actually, no, I think I was just looking at it. I don't think I asked for it, but, you know, there's been numerous times, and that uh, one lady in there, she cool though, but, uh, yeah, there she was like, uh, oh, yeah, we don't have this game. She was like, oh, I don't have this game either. Oh, well, I ain't got this game too. And I'm like, well, dang, like, all right, I guess, but, anyways, um, but, you know, hey. More power to GameStops. I do hope and um, wish the best for them. Like, I hope, you know, they get to go back to them days where it was like, people was like lined up outside of that place like how it was like when Grand Theft Auto 5 had came out. You know, like that, that's the GameStops we all need to see, okay? But I'm just saying that, but just better games need to come out though. Like, I think when some better games come out, then I think that's when we'll get that time and stuff, but anyways i will talk to you guys later thank you guys for watching and or listening if you're viewing this on youtube make sure you like and subscribe and if you're viewing this on the podcast streaming service make sure you follow or subscribe however it's set up make sure you subscribe to one of my 36 youtube channels follow me on twitter tiktok twitch and instagram at tmos boss and make sure you follow my facebook page at tmos boss fan page also, if you're purchasing any tickets from SeatGeek, make sure you use my promo code TMOSBOSS and it will knock $20 off your next purchase. Also, make sure you use my uh, supporter creator code for Epic Games, TMOSBOSS. And yeah, in the meantime, I will talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching and or listening and peace.